NHL playoffs again in full swing here. Uh, who's who got some W's last night? So last night, uh, Carolina Hurricanes stay alive. Jordan Stahl, the captain, scoring another huge goal late in overtime, deflecting the puck on a shot by Aho. Great, I mean, great goal. It's what you look for in, in the playoffs, especially in overtime, especially on the power play. You want to get a guy in front of the net. You want to shoot as many pucks as you can to the net in overtime because every shot is a good shot, and you never know which one's going to squeak in. That one did, and they win. So shout out to them to keep the series alive. They did not want to go down 3-0. That's pretty much a death sentence when you're on the road, especially. Um, So, yeah, I feel like they've created some momentum. I feel like they stunned Tampa currently at the moment, and – I could see this turning around and potentially going seven. Uh, Carolina's got the advantage right now. Also, big game last night. Boston takes down New York Islanders in Long Island. Uh, Brad the Rat Marchand scores. Snipes from the far side. I don't know how Sorokin let that in. Uh, To be honest, I, I don't know how he didn't stop that puck. But like I said, playoffs, any shot's a great shot when you put it at the net because you never know if it's going to go in. And it did, and now you're up 2-1 to in the series. Nice little cushion for them in that game. Um, And then going back to the day uh, before, Vegas now on the ropes against Colorado, down 2-0, to heading back into Vegas. I feel like this is a do-or-die game for Vegas. If they lose, I'm seeing a sweep. Um... They just can't seem to get anything sustained pressure against Colorado. They have little chunks and little bursts where they ha- they're they going to have to score two, three, four goals in that little burst that they get. Otherwise, the Avalanche just bring it all game long with too much speed where it's it's kind of ex- – they exhaust the other team. And Vegas just gets got worn down. And, hey, the puck goes in the net in overtime, they lost. So down 2-0. And then Winnipeg, Montreal, game one kicked off the other night. Montreal ended up winning five. I think it was five to one or five to two. I don't exactly recall the score. But the biggest news here is Mark Shifley from the Winnipeg Jets has been handed a four-game suspension for the collision hit on Jake Evans. Personally, I think that it was a clean hit. Um it's unfortunate that you have a guy that's a little bit smaller than you who does. Ha- Unfortunately, he did put it when he went to wrap the puck around, he had his head down and he didn't, if he would have had his head up, he would have saw him coming and he would have been able to brace for impact. Um, they teach you that when you start playing hockey, just to keep your head up because that's what happens when you, when your head is down, uh, you can get really fucked up and get hurt pretty badly. I know the hit, it looked like way worse than it probably actually was like to me it looked worse than it was yeah you do give him a charging because he was skating full speed more than three strides he was trying to save an empty netter from going in you know trying that was the nail in the coffin that if that goal goes in that's it's game so he was trying to save that and just really unfortunate uh, he was just skating hard, making a clean hit, and him on, like, people are like, oh, he jumped, he jumped, and it's just like, no, for people who don't understand, when you're skating that hard and you're hitting somebody with that much force, you your feet sometimes do come off the ice, and you have to get yourself back, bal- like, that's your balance being, like you have, like, you have to try to regain your balance. It's not like he jumped and put his shoulder, like, right into his head, because I feel like if he did that, that could have been potential like paralyzed um, with your head down and being like jammed straight on like that. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty, pretty shitty from the league to hand them a four game suspension. I personally thought it should have been a five for a charge. You just give him a five for the charge, get him out of the rest of the game. And you let the players police, police the game how it has been for since hockey started um shea weber the captain he was screaming at the refs saying you why are you kicking him out why are you kicking him out because he wanted to fight him you know like that's that's what the captain does that's what you're the people who do anything for your team that's what they do is in moments of distress where somebody takes a shot or a run at a guy 
somebody says, no, you're not doing that. And let's, let's go. And that's just part of the game. I really wish he wouldn't have been handed four because I'd love to see him, th- you know, him throw hands with Weber. Both of them guys are great fighters too. So that would have been bombs being thrown, you know, over and over again. And that's respect. It's just respect in the game. So a little sad that they did give him a four gamer because now Montreal, they're hot right now. They've won five in a row. Um, or excuse me, four in a row. They've won four games in a row. And um, I was doing a little digging into Montreal because I was like, something seems a little weird here. So Montreal Canadians have won 18 games straight in the playoffs when scoring three or goals, three goals or more. And they've won the last 24 out of their 25 total when scoring three or more. Last game, they pumped in five. They do have a hot goalie right now in Carey Price. He seems to be feeling it. And that's all you need to, to make a run and win a Stanley Cup is a hot goalie and a team coming together, chipping in more than three goals. And it seems like they have the perfect recipe for success. And we'll see how far that takes them. You know, it, it's hard to score on a goalie who's stopping everything. Uh, it's so frustrating for a player for a betting for have been there of wide open. You think you have a wide open net and you're shooting it like any other game. Nope nothing you just can't buy you couldn't even hand 100 bucks to the goalie and he'd stay, let let one in so very frustrating but yeah these playoffs are you know tilt they're 100 percent there it's full tilt uh, every game has been really fun to watch the crowd is unfortunately for the canadian like for the canada teams for not having the packed house that the you know the united states teams has i feel like that is going to be the one big disadvantage but also advantage for the teams who have a packed house when they're playing at home and then they go on the road and it's complete dead quiet rink where the Canadian, whatever Canadian team is already used to that. So who knows how that's going to play out. It's going to be interesting and yeah, big games all weekend long here. So excited. I'll be excited to wrap those up and talk about those a little bit on Monday.